Um, so let's see, Martin is saying, uh, I always ask myself, how do you know in a disk setup with a parity disk, if the parity disk or the data disk is broken, if one of them returns garbage? Um, in the case of Unraid, it will actually report the disk is bad if there's any error with reading or writing. It also checks your parity for you, so it will tell you if there's any parity errors. So that's all displayed on the Unraid screen. Uh, he says, since I don't trust my RAID 1 setup for the same reason, I periodically back up my stuff, and I use a tool called PAR2 uh, to build parity file for that data. Now, and this brings me to a very important point, and I think that this can commonly, I've, I've been noticing that people tend to misinterpret the, the meaning of RAID and, and what it means to have an unraid server. When you say, since you don't trust your RAID 1 setup, you periodically back up your stuff, you should always have a backup of your data. Off-site is what I always recommend. A RAID, a, a, an in-house server, something that you've got in the basement that allows you to save your files, that is just for local redundancy. It's not a backup. All that is is it's, it's a storage spot for your files that is less likely to fail than your internal hard drive on your computer. Uh, you don't want to keep your data on your internal hard drive. You don't want to keep your data on your laptop computer because if that gets stolen or dropped or broken or anything like that, it's, you know, you know what the story is. So, so RAID, Unraid, those kinds of things are great for local storage, but there has to be a backup of the data that's on that. So, so consider, you know, that's, that's kind of my two cents when it comes to that kind of stuff. My Unraid box here is just for storage. It's not a backup. Uh, we back up stuff to the Unraid box, and then it gets backed up from there. That's very, very important that you take that extra step. Okay? Thanks for your email, Martin.